Hey Formula E fans, remember when Nick Heidfeld got that podium at Hong Kong last weekend? Well I'm going to show you how to build Nick's car, the Mahindra M3 Electro, out of Lego. Now right off the bat you're going to notice that the Formula E car has the same length axles and the same wheels as the Formula 1 car, so if you're stuck for parts, that's a good place to start buying that set. The set's called McLaren Mercedes Pit Stop, the price is about £30 and its number is uh, 75911. Anyway, I've already built Nick Heidfeld, so let's get right into it. We've got the chassis here, putting the steering wheel in, the cockpit. All the parts are laid out here exactly as you'd find them in a set. Now, I've just started work on the floor already, which is just the very bottom of the car. Helps make sure it's not scratching the ground and stuff like that. By the way, in the description, there should be a list of all the parts that I'm using to make this. You can uh, enter these into BrickLink, basically, and order them in bulk. Uh, you can make make two if you want, if you want to make one for Hyde Felt and one for Rosenquist. But I recommend you look through, especially if you have um, Lego already, you look through sets and pieces that you've already got and see if, even if they're not the right colour, you probably won't have the right colours, especially not straight away. But you can definitely get it so it's the right shape. Anyway, the cockpit's starting to take a bit of shape now. So we've got the little sides in, you got to get some white in there. Now we've got the first sort of big piece there which just sort of connects the cockpit to the bulkhead. That's a piece I got from some Lego Ferrari sets, which are fairly old now as I'm just putting the uh, axle in and I break it. Some good advice with the spacers on the axles is uh, don't make them too tight because, uh, yeah, that happens. Anyway, not putting the wheels on yet because that's something we usually do uh, in the instruction books. You normally put the wheels on the end in the cars. Anyway, good bit going up now, the front wing, which is something I'm, I'm very proud of. And it's got the... We eventually it's the bridge ring thing, but first we do the little base, we make sure we've got all the little flat pieces, makes it a little bit, it looks a bit more aerodynamic, you don't have to make everything on the car flat, but uh, sounds to reason because the front wing it hits the air first, that put some focus on that, so we put the little winglets on either side. The winglets aren't essential, but they're a nice little bit of minor detail that I like. Anyway, side pod of the front wing being put in now. Here's the interesting thing about the bridge wing that they brought in for this season, the new wing on the top. It's kind of interesting because I've made the first prototype of this car, it was the season 2 design. And I noticed the front wing didn't have a bridge wing and the front wing was very kind of floppy. As you can see I just finished it now and I put the nose on. Uh, and ever since I put the bridge wing in it's been much more structurally secure so uh, definitely a good change I me. Now the pieces I'm putting in now are bricks with holes in them, I'm going to stuff them with connectors and these are what I'm going to attach the uh, side pods into. But I'm going to focus on the rear of the car now, where the, I don't know, gearbox, motor, whatever, it's because it's such a small scale it kind of has to be uh, everything at the back grossly. So we start a new little build here, so all the entire rear axle is going to go on this thing that I'm building right here. I like to think of this as sort of an under tray, it's quite a neat and elegant way to do it because it just sort of pops in underneath what we've already built. And you can, you can do a lot of this in any order. But see it clips in very well because of the way we've done it. And now we start on the other side because we're going to put a panel over the top of it right here, which is the white panel there. Covers it up beautifully, works really well that piece, but it is kind of hard to find in certain colours. Anyway, I'm just finishing off the uh, cockpit here. And I suddenly noticed that I've actually put the wrong bit on the bridge wing, so I go back and swap it because I put the white one on the bridge wing when I should have put the red one on. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a little colour idiosyncrasies. But uh, here's the side pod anyway. It's a fairly basic design, works really well, especially the two little uh, winglets that stick out the side of the uh, cockpit. Uh, the ones that, on the bottom that we did earlier, which are the floor, and the ones on the top, which are the same as the ones in the middle of the cockpit. Anyway, rear wing now. Just putting the tail light in, and not an essential detail, but it's nice to have. Here's the rear wing supports, and the two rear wing supports are kind of hard pieces to find, I think. Uh, we've got little pods here, they we go for the like, sustaining impact. They fall off fairly easily, but I, uh, I beefed them up compared to the original design. A uh, nice little Indian flag as well, just on the top of the cover. On the real Mahindra, they have the Indian flag on the wheel rims as well. But this is something that's ridiculously intricate for this scale, and this is not something you can replicate. Anyway, here's the finish thing. All in all, it totals in at about 137 pieces, and I think you can agree it's a faithful recreation of that Mahindra. On LEGO Digital Designer, I've made not just the Mahindras, but in the entire Formula E grid for Season 3. The plan is to figure out how to get a high-res image of these out, and then submit that to LEGO Ideas, and hopefully 
if all goes well with a bit of support we can get these made at least some of these made into a real set the only cars other than the Mahindras that I built in real life so far are the Andretti's which was the first prototype car I made there are two teams here that are almost impossible to actually make with the Lego bricks that actually exist sort of in real life that you can buy and they are DS Virgin and Next TV because purple and turquoise very rare colors anyway let me know what you think of these models uh, if you think it's an e easy to build or if it's hard to build or if you need like, instructions sent to you that look just like the ones you get in your little manuals or whatever because you can do that at Lego Digital Designer so I'll see if I can export files from that and also ask, let me know what you want to see in future if you'd like to see a uh, more of my Lego models. I've got uh, some 1976 Ferraris and McLarens, uh, or if you'd like to see uh, the Andretti and the Mahindra that I've made uh, in some uh, Lego stop motion based on maybe stuff that happened during real life races or whatever. Well, so whatever you want to see, let me know and I, I'll make it happen. Anyway, androids may dream of electric sheep, but I dream of electric race cars.